Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I am actually painting Isaiah's nursery. I wanted to go ahead and do like an accent wall on his crib side wall and I really wanted to do kind of like, I don't know if you'd call it a tribal pattern, um, but very simple and I had seen some stick on wallpaper that I really liked with like a similar pattern, but this was, I think after everything I purchased, it was definitely under $20 and hopefully it will only take an hour and a half or so so wanted to take you guys along with how I am going to do his accent wall in the nursery all you're gonna need for this project is a step stool so you can reach the top um, your favorite paint so I ended up going with a got a, a gate a gate I don't know how to say it but it's this really really pretty like bright deep green um so i just got like a small pint which i'm not even going to use all of it he said it covers 100 square feet um this little paint thing that i can hold while i'm standing to do it and then a paintbrush so all of that less than 20 dollars to start i forgot i also have this that i'm going to lay across the ground um i don't think paint will really drip or anything because we're not painting the full wall but it's just safe to have it there done um now i'm gonna call michael up here and ask him if he likes it being a little like faded honestly it kind of reminds me of like bear claws which since we're doing a woodland theme that actually makes sense um but i can also clean them up and go over them again i need your advice okay. or your perspective i guess okay. if you come look at it closely do you want me to go over and make it perfectly clean or if you like no the, it's like, kind of like tribal that's what i was saying i think it kind of looks like bear claws yeah like it's like it's more woodsy yeah cool do you like the color i do yeah it looks sick cyrus I... no okay sweet thank you So the second row is done and as you can see you just go completely opposite of the other ones but it's nice once you have the first done um, you know how to line it up and like thankfully mine ended um, perfectly with three lines so again I didn't buy a stencil but you can and there's probably a more accurate way to measure this to make sure or you could even use like a pencil before and then go over it for that first row but I kind of just went for it and we're gonna do this whole wall. each row and how I kept everything centered but basically um, the first one I mean is honestly determining how big each row is gonna be because you want to match everything with that but from there in every row the first brush stroke is the most important because so I'm trying to show that first one that I did on the second row determined the distance that it would be from the first row after that, as you start getting um, into your rhythm with the rows, I find it easiest to do the middle brush stroke. So whether it's here or this one, because that helps you center each line. And then you know that this one and this one will be equal distance from the center and it just keeps everything uniform. So I hope that makes sense. It's really hard to kind of explain and articulate that but um, that was just how I did it. 
you can see when I got to the end, I just matched up where it goes along the window with what the top row would have been. So I really just tried to make sure that everything was gonna stay because if that got off center, then the next row would be messed up. If we had ran into this same situation, but at the end of the wall, this is the same thing I would have done. So if you don't have room to complete a final row, I'd probably just do what you can and literally just treat this as if it's wallpaper and where you would have had to cut the wallpaper and the pattern comes off. Same thing at the bottom. Um, I got lucky and I could kind of do three lines, but um, I definitely made them shorter than the other lines. I'm trying to show, but like those three are shorter than those three because I just ran into the end, but you just, again, treat it like wallpaper and then you're set and it'll match no matter what. And then I had a decision to make at the end which was, do I want to try to get really close and do like three and then like one line, three and one like that? Just figured it wasn't worth it to me because I'd probably end up getting paint everywhere. I just decided to leave that, but you can kind of just decide as you go what makes the most sense for you and what you want to do, but that's what I did.